So let's work with this example here. So a car is purchased for $25,000 and the value VT of it after T years can be modeled by V of T is equal to 25,000 times 0.9 to the power of T. So we're working with an exponential function. How fast is the car depreciating when it's four years old? So the first thing to notice is that they're asking for the speed of how much the value of the car is changing. Whenever they're asking for a speed, usually they're gonna be asking for a rate of change. The next question to ask yourself is, we're dealing with rate of change, are they asking for an average rate of change or are they asking for an instantaneous rate of change? Well, an average rate of change is always between two points and instantaneous rate of change is always at one point. And they're asking how fast is the car depreciating when it's four years old. So they're asking what's the speed of the car depreciating at a specific point in time. So we're dealing with instantaneous rate of change. And we need to find the instantaneous rate of change at an X value of four. So we're gonna do that using the preceding following interval method. And I have the steps listed out over here from the previous video, from the overview video of the method. So we're just simply gonna follow these three steps to find the instantaneous rate of change of the car depreciating at four years. So let's go to step one, find the average rate of change for the preceding interval between x is equal to a, or x is equal to four in our case, and x is equal to a minus h, or four minus some small number h. And in this example, I use the h value of 0.1. So we have our a value four, or our x value four, where we're finding the instantaneous rate of change, and we pick a point that's less than it, that's fairly close, so I decided to pick 3.9. So to find the average rate of change in this interval, we first have to find what the value of the car is at 3.9 years and at four years. <clears throat> so we would just take 3.9 and four and put it into our equation that we were given. And you should get these values, 16.576 and 16.402.5. And then this is like x2, y2, x1, y1. Average rate of change is just the slope formula input those numbers and you would get an average rate of change in that interval of approximately the car depreciating at $1,735 per year. So now that we found the average rate of change for the preceding interval, we can move on to step two, find the average rate of change for the following interval. So the following interval would be four and a point that's very close to it and greater than it, so 4.1 and we would do the exact same thing. So we would first have to find out what the value of the car is at 4.1 years. So we would plug in 4.1 for T into the equation that we're given. And then we would have to find the average rate of change in this following interval there. So then doing all that, we would uh, take Y2 minus Y1 in the numerator over x2 minus x1 in the denominator, and we would get an average rate of change for this following interval of negative $1,715 per year. That's the, uh, that's the average rate of change that the car is depreciating between that time period, four and 4.1. Now, one thing to note is, notice how for the rate of changes here, these average rate of changes, I got a negative number. And that makes sense because the car is depreciating. So its rate or the value of it is going down. You could see that in this exponential function because this um, we're taking 0.9 to the power of t, we're multiplying every value of the car by 0.9 every year. So it's just going down and down 90% of its previous value. So it makes sense that the rate of changes are going to be negative, the car is depreciating. And now that we finished finding the average rate of change for the following interval, we can move to step three and average both of them out to find the instantaneous rate of change. And I did that down here. So the approximate instantaneous rate of change of this car when it's four years old, we take these two average rate of changes that we found, add them together, divide it by two, and we get this value of negative $1,725 per year. 
So that's how fast the car is depreciating when it is four years old.